Hi folks, I've just completed a two part uh, copy uh, in oil of a, of a, a Monet painting <coughs> called the, the Seine, the Seine at Giverny where Monet lived and uh, quite a toughie I have to say. If you've got a copy, copy from the masters, I take no credit for the actual view or the brushwork, the brushwork is mine, uh, clumsy compared to Monet, but anyway, a, 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 a good experience, so if you're going to copy, copy from the masters, that's what Tom Keating said, the great forger, I'm not a forger, I'm not going to put my signature in, I'm going to take a leaf out of Alan, my mate Alan Owens' book, he's, uh, he's, we're very, very good friends, Alan and I, And uh, he won't mind me doing anything that remotely resembles anything he does. But uh, we both like Ted Wesson. He knew Ted Wesson more than I did, but I did meet Ted at a demonstration at Carl Schultz and Wellington Art Group many years ago before he died, because he's been long dead now. I think he died in 1983, about the time when I joined. Cash Alton and Wellington Art Group. So, all right. So, had a bit of a bit of paint grey to that, or a bit of a lizard, or put a bit of cloud over it. These brushes hold lots of water. They're, they are lovely brushes, I must say. They were never designed to be used as a, a watercolour brush. They're mops, French polishers mops, but they're now marketed now for largely thanks to Ted Wesson and us, Demi, or Wayne Allen, Owen, using them much of the time. I only have an occasional foray into into the mops, but they're a lovely brush. I've got a few of them. But this is a, a number six Pro Art. It's a beautiful brush. I've got the Asabi French version. Probably costs three times as much, but it's not three times as good. All right, let's put a bit of a bit of background on over here. Plenty of water. A bit, of, a bit of sienna in there, a bit of raw sienna. Basically, yeah, just a bit of rough ground. Alan's had a path going through, I don't suppose I'll bother. But. Uh, we'll get some bit of paint, a bit of uh, sienna. Or oh, even a bit of burnt umber. I'll have to dry this. A bit of, bit of okay, yellow. Okay. Give the brush a good swash out. I really enjoyed doing this uh, Monet. I hope you I hope some of you look in. It's only six dollars, so and you can watch it and many, many others that I've put on. Uh, if not, you can contribute to my to me via PayPal. Right, close your ears. You can uh, wind forward or whatever. So go.
This is Saunders 90 or Saunders Waterford 90 pound rough, a superb paper. You don't have to pre shrink it or pre stretch it, whatever you like to call it. Just just uh, dry it and put it tight with, with these strong clips. And uh, hey, presto, there it goes. So let's put in a bit of burnt umber now, a bit of Payne's Grey as well, a bit of dry brush. Well, let's just come across here. What's that? Oh dear, oh dear. How did that get there? Well, that'd be a bird. Okay, now I'm going to put in some. Uh, I'll use a smaller mop now. I've got this number, number four Pro Art for my foliage brush. I'm just going to do what Anna did. Well, actually, I've been doing them like this for years, as you know. But I just. a bit of dark, dark green, plenty of water. Oh, let's put it in. Just carry on across there. Okay, let's carry on in a light vein. Quite brush, but it doesn't paint itself though, you have to put the paint on. And it's a light touch, very light touch. Okay, uh, we keep this fair very simple. I'll put a few um, blue ones in. It's a bit of a touch of grey. Oh. And I'll uh, put that in. Oh look, I've done it again. Oh dear. A lot of water <laughs> flashing around here, so let's. Uh, Just a bit of distance here, just a nice light grey. This all dries light. I think I, I love the, the look of watercolours. I mean, I love what Alan does. But uh, I, I think I'm more an acrylic and oil painting, painter. But like everybody else, we start with watercolours. And some stay with watercolours all their lives. But others experiment and try different things. Now, um, we're putting a bit of, bit of foreground here. Uh, so, burnt sienna. Bit of amber. A nice rich green. A 
just a few bits and pieces going along here. Shadow, we're going to have a bit more dry brush on there. That's a cloud showing on there. So there's still plenty of water left in this in this mop. Bit of shadow. Put in a bit of a bit of a A shadow in there. <coughs> I'm going to dry that off. I'm going to put a bit of a fence there, and I'll do that with a rigger. So. Come on, where's my front cross? Can't we go? We're just packing shit. Ah, oh, there it is. No, it's not. It's got a green hand. Oh, well, where is that? I'm going to use my other rig, it's probably on the floor. Or in, I was falling in my waist bin. Okay. It's very warm today in London. It's temperatures going right up today. Well, right up by our standards, anyway. <laughs> In the UK, so it's going to be about 28, 29 centigrade. Okay, that'll do. Right, that's uh, got some nice paints grey.
I'm not going to do much more than this. I, I went there, I, I finished my, the video for, or the second video, about 10 to 12. I went down, I said we had a visitor. And after a couple of hours, uh, my sister and brother in law turned up, another two hours. So we've just really, so I'm rushing today. To, to catch up. Well, that's, that's what I'm going to do on that. I just wonder if I could put a, maybe a bit of a building, a bit of a barn, a side barn, shall we? So let's have a bit of a burnt sienna roof, a bit of, bit of paint grey. But I want it to sh show sort of a dirty, dirty tiled roof in the distance. Let's put it here. by the old barn. That's no point of some ways not getting in the way. Okay, that's uh, I'll dry that off because I want to put a, 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 a dark like a wooden slat oh, Sandals tied up in the uh, in the cables here. So let's have a Payne's grey, bit bit of umber. And then just right. That's not sh that tree is showing up behind that. So I'm going to just. Put just opaque it a little bit. Oops, it's all black. Or oh, paint's grey. Let's get a bit of gouache. Just make it a bit of slightly opaque. Be broken down. Oh, well, I like that. Let's make that really dark in that roof. Let's, uh, Pain's grey. Just some tiles slipped. There we are, that'll do. Now we'll put our little bird in on that dob. Okay, there's my simple version of a of a nondescript scene in Kent, or yeah, Kent because uh, Kent is much more hilly than uh, East Anglia or Norfolk and Suffolk. Suffolk, no, quite hilly, but uh, Kent has got a lot of hills and a lot of flatlands as well. So let's put a put that in a mountain and have a have a look. Then that's it for today. It's a quarter past three and I've started painting about nine o'clock this morning. No, I didn't. Sorry, I went to the range and bought a couple more. I'll show you the brushes I bought. Uh, it's probably a bit big, but anyway, I bought I bought a couple of filbers, small filbers, mainly so I could work on with this uh, 
with this the Monet. I've got a trailer I'm going to upload for you. So I bought those two, two filberts, two filberts, two number four, the graduate, the, the data around it, they're very good brushes, they're very very cheap, but good quality, they bristle. And I bought this small flat. Oh. So I've got, got quite a collection of graduate brushes, mainly because of the rain. So here, here are all my graduate brushes now, look. Yeah. One, two, three, oh, three, four, five, six. Probably less than twenty pounds that lot, but they're very, very good brushes. Very pleased, very pleased with those. Right, okay, so I hope you like that one. Thanks for watching. I'll get that published. Bye bye.